Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DCTH. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, so let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance. First level of support, gonna be right here, and this is what I would call the ideal level at $5, meaning, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? Certainly staying up above, the $5 mark. With that being said, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that if the price falls below five that everything's totally ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can actually stay up above that level, that would certainly be a big sign of power on the bull's part. Next level of support after that would be down here at about $4.40. So five and 440, two of the near term levels, taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view. So that's where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. Now the easiest way to, and it's an easy but very effective way to judge the health of the move, this right here being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you gonna you know, best you know, visualize that? You know, that's what's being represented. Again, yeah, staying above $5 would be great, but big picture point of view, as long as the price is above that purple line, then the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as levels of resistance, I'm not even gonna touch on that right now because in my opinion, top priority by far right now is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance. It's all about just going through healthy consolidations and building higher lows because as long as higher lows are being built, over time, everything else takes care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on those higher bases and then just sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.